Hey guys, welcome to a quick news video today and this is some news that was released by Unity on the 15th of February 2018 and it shows that Pro Builder, Polybrush and Pro Grids are available for free across 5.6 and above and will be integrated as 2018 rolls out and becomes out of beta and into the sort of further release down the line and if you don't have a you know, sort of fully focused idea on what actually any of these are. Unity have acquired these fairly popular assets, which allow you to do a lot of differentiating functionality because Unity are trying to bring as many different assets and workflows technologies into Unity to make it almost like a one stop shop for being able to, whether it be do your modeling, texturing, and your game engine work directly inside Unity. These things will never replace a traditional 3D program because they're very powerful in what they do, but these assets can help you go a long way. So Pro Builder is essentially, it's a unique sort of hybrid between design tools, modeling tools, where you can make advanced, uh, basic, you can extrude, and you can make things from simple to more advanced, and you can even edit the UVs with directly into the engine and you can see some examples just down here where you can make stairs shapes and different ideas just with an easy interface just directly inside unity so you never even need to use a 3d program if you're not confident a few popular games have used this like super hot use pro builder to build most of this sort of uh, basic style meshes that are featured in the game and the second one is polybrush and this enables you it's almost a sculpting painting and scattering tool which allows you to sculpt on geometry like you can see down here you can add vertex paint to meshes and you can blend textures and paint surface details so whether that be rocks plants whatever similar to what we'd see in a terrain or a classic sort of sculpting program like a Z brush or a sculptress which allows you to have much more functionality in terms of controlling how meshes work of course, these would be required to be higher polygon meshes, just like a terrain. They allow you to extend things and not have to be constrained with an actual terrain. You can have it on just smaller objects, like you can make yourself a, let's say, imagine this object a rock, and you could paint this and you could deform the geometry in such a way that it makes it quite easily. It is in the beta, but if it's something that you're looking for, you should check it out. And there's one more thing which is called ProGrids, and ProGrids is a functional visual sort of grid layout system which will allow you to snap and place objects around the world, and really good for prototyping, or even helping you just sort of build your levels up if you're doing a modular workflow. And you can check out this page and it'll give you all the details on the roadmap of how Unity intend to integrate them and where to get the assets in the future. So you can check all of these out on the Unity Asset Store on the free and available for fi Unity 5.6 and above. And they're all free and ready for you to just start messing around with. Polybrush requires 2017.1 and ProGrids again requires 5.6. So it's good to see more and more assets coming out from Unity and trying to to extend the engine and make it more easy for developers. So check this out and see what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.